<sighs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shaw. Shaw vs. A-Bike Podcast, episode 137. As you can see, we on location, man. We got my first guest that's coming on to talk to us. We got Arthur, businesswoman, a uh, traveling nurse, a mother, a wife, and all of the above. We got Miss Dion Wallace. How you feel? You all right? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So we start every show off with a salute me while I'm here. We let everybody know that, you know, a lot of times we give people their flowers once they dead. For real. Somehow you love them and how you miss them and sure. stuff. But it can't be your media circle. So it can't be no husband. It can't be no kids. Grandkids. It got to be somebody out there in media circle. Oh, so you got somebody you want to give a shout out to? Oh, uh, yeah. I want to give a shout out to my, my sister friend. Miss Tanya Morgan, mm-hmm. she doing her thing. I appreciate her. We've been we've been down since we was little girls, mm-hmm. and she's just living her best life, and for I sure. love it. For sure, for sure. Now the year's almost over. What's something you learned about yourself this year? I learned that I have to just do what I need to do. I need to go with it. If my instinct tell me to do it, I do it. Mm-hmm. Go with my gut. Follow it. For Don't sure. waste no more time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now you got a uh, business. You are Arthur. Talk about your business and when you started, what made you, you know what I'm saying, start the business? Okay, I have uh, a couple of businesses. My first business is Health Talk with Dion, mm-hmm. and it's a health and wellness business, mm-hmm. um, D. Wallace Health Promotion and Wellness. And what prompted me to start it, I started it back in 17, mm-hmm. um, being a nurse, mm-hmm. working in the field, and I worked in a lot of city hospitals, mm-hmm. whatever, so to speak. And I noticed that it was a deficit in the learning curve as far as people with their medical diagnosis and understanding how to better manage with yeah. high blood pressure, diabetes, and I saw a real a real gap in the black male population. Oh yeah for sure. So that was definitely my my brainchild behind doing it is to just help us live longer, mm-hmm. teach us better how to take care of ourselves, be the driver of our own health and care yeah. and not let somebody else tell us but we know how to predict if our body doing something wrong. No, and you know oh my bad. Go ahead. I'm about to say, those guys, you know, we hate going to the hospital. Absolutely you do. And that's, what, and that's what, and me being a mother, wife, the daughter, sister, all of that, I get it. So mm-hmm. I spent a lot of time talking to y'all, almost beating y'all over no, here sure, with an imaginary sure. hammer. It's like, sure. please get yourself checked out. Do what you need to do. Get your prostate checked out. Go where you don't feel well. You know what I'm saying? Just get it checked out. Everybody not out to get you. You know what I'm saying? So it's about me being gifted. God gave me a gift. Um, I have an anointing to do this, so I'm going to help my people. So that's sure. the premise behind that one and then I have um, a scrub business where I sell scrubs I sell medical equipment I sell compression socks and people have the impression that oh only people who work in the medical field yeah. need to wear compression socks we all need to wear them. we'll be up on our feet doing our thing I have yeah. uniforms uh, compression socks um, glucometers all kind of stuff to help you know us better care for ourselves oh, yeah. and it's at a reasonable price it ain't oh, yeah. over price it ain't, crazy, it yeah. ain't yeah. going crazy because I'm right blessed now. I'm we too blessed to do that we're going to ask you right now can we get this kind of you know how it is. Yeah, and it's like, no, do you get a discount from Amazon? Hell no. It's the same way. It's a business. It's a LL. These are LLCs. Okay. No uh, license. Talk about the book. Bro. So my book I wrote, um, Beating the Odds, My Journey to Healing and Wholeness, it's just about my life and how I overcame so many obstacles, being a young teenage mother and people telling me that I wasn't going to make it. No, for sure. And I had just ruined my life. And so I just kind of... It stemmed from when my nephew got killed. It just was something that I needed to do to help me heal yeah, yeah, yeah. and get that stuff out of me. And uh, it's just been helping a lot of people. Like, I kind of went in there and just kind of told the story. Yeah, yeah. But you kind of like nervous about, like, letting people in on certain things? I was, because yeah. I'm very private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did what God told me to do. Um, I changed names. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to. And, and, be all, yeah, yeah, so everybody will be in their feelings, even yeah. though people were. But it was a story about me. Yeah. And if you got named in it or mentioned, it was because you was in that a part, in of that. That, in that, part in that yeah. stage. So it's, it was a healing component. Now, uh, you got a lot of things going on. 
we'll give you that push to do it because a lot of times we talk about doing something but we be too afraid to do it because we think we're going to fail before we even start. Because uh, my daddy always told me even as a little girl, he was like, you got these uh, champagne dreams on the Kool-Aid but Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. But as a little girl, I always knew that my life was bigger. I was shown this and I was like, just because you're in the hood don't mean you got to be up in the hood. No. So I was raised on the east side. I'm east side for life. I yeah. love Detroit. But I also know that it's a bigger thing for me in life. Would you have one more of your business to take you away from working your regular nine to five? Well, I don't really do uh, traditional nine to five. I do travel nursing yeah. and I, I do contracts as I choose to. So doing nine to five is something that I probably won't ever do again. Oh man, I can't wait till I get like I that. I can't. I, I can't even do it. When they tell me man. you can't have a day off, I'm like, sure I can. I'm just giving you a courtesy. How long did it take you to really see like profit from this? Are you still waiting on the? On um, that? It, it's hit or miss because I, I I spent the last two years traveling, mm -hmm. so I put a lot of time in traveling, and then I kind of pushed my business on the back burner, and that was like not a great idea, yeah. but it was. But I was very blessed mm -hmm. financially and just emotionally, and then I was able to go out, go to different states, mm -hmm. and just do my own thing. No, no, no. So in five years, with everything you got going on, where you see yourself in the business? I see my business is like my kids running them, yeah, and yeah. I'm just kind of doing a lot of um, talk with women, because yeah. that's my that's my goal is to do big stadiums and talk to women and just share and help people heal. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Now, away from the uh, business and things, when the last time you got a good cry at, and what was it for? Um. The last time I got a good cry, it was actually the other day because I just lost a very, very dear friend. Oh, yeah, hey, rest in peace. And so um, I had to get it, even though everything was going on around me, I just had to kind of stop and do it. Mm -hmm. And one thing I learned through losing my nephew and writing a book and suffering a little bit from depression is that I have to go through my grieving process. Okay, yeah, okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I do it. When I need to, I let it go. Okay, okay. Yeah, you got to. People be too afraid to answer that question, especially guys. I, hey. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, it's, it's healthy. That's healing me. That's, yeah. Like talking about it. That's and yeah. I have a therapist. Now, um, <laughs> now, you married. Yes. But before you was married, what was a major turn off from a guy approaching you with trying to get, you know what I'm saying, get to know Dion? What's the turn off? It's a couple of them. <laughs> I would say, um, conversation that didn't make any sense. If you can't even talk in a complete sentence, please go away. Yeah. Don't do it. You gotta come with some type of intelligence. Please. Yeah. You ain't even gotta be written. You ain't gotta be doing all a whole bunch of stuff. It's just have an intelligent conversation. Yeah. Okay, okay, so, okay. So, if you can't, if you don't have no intellect. Yeah, you, you done. Yeah. Okay, now we ain't everything go with a top three. I'm, I mean, not top three, a versus. I give you a situation, a per, uh, two people, two things, and you tell me who will win. Okay. Okay. Yo cooking versus your mama cooking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most things my mama, because she taught me how to cook, but some things I, because I, I cook all the time, so I can get her in some areas, but not many. All right, what was worse? Your first birth or your last birth? My last one. That's okay. why it was my last one. <laughs> okay, daylight versus my, nightlife. Daylight. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Thanksgiving. All right, uh, fall gear versus summertime gear. Fall. Martin versus Fresh Prince. Martin. All right, Boys in the Hood versus Men's Society. Boys in the Hood. Okay. Dion now versus Dion 15 years ago. I focus more on myself. Okay. Okay. I'm a priority now. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> I just, I, you just have to ask me anything. Yes, you can. Drunk sex versus sober sex. Drunk sex. Okay. <laughs> All right, where can people follow you as your socials, all that um, good stuff? You can follow me at All Things Nurse Scrubs on um, Facebook, um, Dion Sa Staples Wallace on mm. Facebook. You also can follow me on um, Instagram, Dion the Great. Mm. And what is my other social media? Yeah, follow me on those and then I kind of promote myself. Yeah, and last thing. What's some, uh, what's some encouraging words you want to give to somebody who's trying to start a business too afraid? Just do it. Like you do it. Do it scared. Do it broke. Just do it because sure. everybody started from somewhere. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So just do it. Hey, there you are have it, man. Dion Wallace. You see she got a jack of all trades? Yes. <laughs> hey, we out of here. Peace. All right, what's up? We got another guest in the building. Let people know your name, what business you got, and all that good stuff. Okay, my name is Brandy. Brandy. What's yes. up, Brandy? Hi, and my business is Flat Fab Lashes. Flat Fab Lashes. Yes, yeah, okay, Fab. Okay. Sorry. No, you're good. Now, before we start, we do a thing called Salute Me While I'm Here. 
we wait for people to die, you know what I'm saying, give them their flowers and stuff. Oh. But it can't be in your immediate circle. So it can't be if you with, with somebody, you got kids, it got to be somebody out there, normal answer. No mom, no dad. Anybody you want to give a shout out to? Um, I want to give a shout out to myself. Yourself? Hell yeah, that's cool. Yeah, for stepping out. Huh? I'm sorry. I hear you. Yeah, just stepping out. Um, this is my second year running the business. For sure, for sure. But my first, um, first year I really didn't do too much because yeah. I was pregnant with my first child. So yeah. I'm pregnant with my second child. Okay, congratulations. And thank you, appreciate yeah. it. Now, what's the uh, speak on this year? What's something you learned about yourself this year? I'm sorry. What's something you learned about yourself this year? Um. Basically, that I can do anything. So, you know, um, being a mom is hard work. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. And yeah, just being cool. a parent, yeah. Yeah. So basically, my kids just push me. For sure, That's for sure. Now, uh, talk about the business. What made you want to start the business besides your kids? Like, what made you get into it? Well, what made me get into it? I always love lashes. Okay. Always, just natural lashes. Yeah. yeah. Was it time you was like? Starting this business, you would say you two years in. Was it time you like fuck this? I'm done with it, cause I mean it might have not been going how you wanted to go. Right. It might, it might not be moving how you wanted it to move. Was it time you wanted to quit? No, I wouldn't say want to quit, but I just had a lot on my plate. That's uh -huh. why I had slowed down. Mm -hmm. And then another thing, I really, I really wasn't focused. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Why, why, why you wasn't focused? What was going on? Well, just life in general. Mm -hmm. You know, family issues. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Now, where you see a business in five years, yourself in the business? I would say, hopefully, get my name out there. Mm -hmm. That's my main thing, getting out there. Um, just, just basically getting it out there. Okay, okay. Now, um, are you working nine to five or you, just your whole? Business? Yes, I work nine to five. Is that the goal to quit your nine to five and live off this? Eventually, yes. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Anything else that you want to do outside of lashes? Um, me and my boyfriend, we thinking about starting a uh, vending machine business. Okay, 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 okay. I'm a car wash. Yeah, for sure, hell so, yeah. yeah, this is not the only thing I want to step my feet into. Now, now speaking of boyfriends, when that, did you give him something yesterday for Sweet Day? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. did you, you mind telling us what it was? It's it, um, too hot for TV. Okay, oh shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh man, hey. What's the craziest thing somebody did for, to keep you around or vice versa? The craziest thing? I don't know. Uh, Nothing crazy? Nobody ever threatened to kill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> hey. No comment. We all been there, see? It's, it's a crazy shit right there. Alright. What's the craziest search you what, you searched on porn? I don't do that. Okay, y'all. Uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, some people say some crazy shit. No, I don't do that. All right. I do this thing called versus. You tell me which one to win. It could be people, uh, things. You just tell me which one to win. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Christmas. Nightlife versus daylight. Nightlife. Uh, somebody talking to you in person or over a DM? Person. Okay, okay, okay. You want Martin versus Fresh Prince? Martin. Okay, okay. Drunk sex versus sober sex? Drunk. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, this last That's question. That's why I got this baby. <laughs> Drunk sex, what were you drinking? What was your go-to drink? Uh, Tennessee on a rock. Okay, okay. This last freaky question I'm going to ask you. Okay. You better have your ass ate or your pussy ate? Both. <laughs> Good, good answer, good answer. Well, Alright, where can they find you? Where uh, on social media, all that good stuff? Social media, I'm on Instagram. Okay. So it's F A period B underscore lashes. Okay, okay. And you wanna give anybody some encouraging words on starting a business? Yeah, of course. Just do your thing. You gotta step into it. You gotta be focused. Just just get your feet wet. That's it. That's all it takes. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Thank you, you too. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Take, take a card. Go ahead and give me a follow on ARG. I'll follow you back. Okay, yeah. She said both, right? <laughs> <laughs> let me get both, let me get both, Craig.
What's happening, man? We got a motherfucking HP motherfucker in the building, dog. Yo, 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 turn up. T tell, tell people who you is, dog. All that good shit, what you got going on? Uh, HP D Long, full one time. We in here, you already know. For sure. HP 100 years, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Shit, what you got going on, dog, business wise? Uh, I know you doing music. I know you got a lot of shit going man, on, bro. A lot, lot for real. Shit, uh, right now, man, I, I, I got a lot of music in the work as far as me behind the scenes. Uh, me producing and writing a lot of songs. Uh, sure. I got a few singles that I'm about to drop and a few collabs that I'm working with. Hey man, dog got a podcast too, man. Yeah, 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 about yeah, the yeah, yeah. Uh, with Food Talk, with Food Talk podcast, it's a new podcast, but it's been doing work, it's been doing numbers. So, uh, really, I I haven't really dropped an official episode. That's what a lot of people don't know. Yeah. I just been dropping promos from episodes that I've been recording. You've been on the Master of the Craft type thing. So, but I have been recording episodes. I just haven't dropped none yet. You know? Hey, Dawg said that nigga pussy be prepaid. Oh, yeah, for sure. Back, 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 back. It for sure is. Listen, listen to me. If, if, listen, if a nigga pay for anything ahead of time, you know what I'm saying? You want something. Hell yeah, yeah for sure. Hey. It's the back end. Yeah. What's, 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 the back end. what's the most money you paid for some pussy, though? Ooh, I don't think I never really paid no top, no dollar, like, directly. <laughs> Maybe, like, through just out there having a good time. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. I don't about. know, because it's uncounted. I'm just out there, you feel me? I'm just out there fooling, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gotta get the mission done, so I'm just out there. Some pussy, and you just having a good time, and you like, damn, this shit came like on on the cheek, like yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah, do shit a couple times, like I ain't had to do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. We just walked in the park. That shit was real. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Remember this day, like walking in the park, you know? Hey, bro, what's the what's the wildest <laughs> shit you did to keep a chick from leaving, or vice versa? Ooh. The wildest shit I did, I don't think I did nothing that crazy. Let me see the wildest shit I did. Listen to me. <laughs> ah, the wildest shit I did, man, I don't know. I don't know, but I did some wild shit. I got a bitch up out my crib that one time. You got what? I got a bitch up out my crib on some wild shit. How? Wait, wait, wait. Um, the bitch broke my phone, right? So out of anger, I just, out of retaliation, I broke her. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But I threw her shit like seven times, that bitch did not break. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had to grab it and really grab that bitch. Put the force in my face. Stump on it. Yo, yeah, listen, the bitch wasn't even from here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She was from New York, right? Yeah. So then, listen, when I broke her phone, she, she started knocking on my neighbor's door. So, oh, <laughs> shit. So I said, well, this bitch got to go. I started packing her shit up, right? Yeah. And I went to my neighbor. I said, bro, listen, my phone broke, but I'll pay you in the morning. Can you Uber this bitch or uh, Uber to the airport? You know what I'm saying? She had a one-way ticket. Yeah. But she had to figure out a way to get her. That's the closest way to get her off from Detroit oh. to the airport. <laughs> do, do you know she made a trip? Uh, I think we talked about a week later. She didn't make it in the street. She said, I put, that in a, I put her in a fucked up situation. <laughs> Damn. She said she can't fuck with me no more. Hell no, nigga, in New Orleans, she live in New York, nigga. She ain't on my fucking West Bank. Oh, nigga, listen to me, but uh, she was causing chaos. I ain't never had chaos in the crib. You know what I'm saying? Dog. Hell no. Let's go. Dog, you know? God <laughs> damn. Hey, man, you ain't never, you ain't never cry for a bitch, dog? No. Like fake cry? I ain't telling y'all. Hell no. <laughs> hey, hold on. Like, dog, real quick, what's the, what's the wildest shit you searched on Pornhub, bro? Ooh. Cause I ain't searched some wild shit. Oh, oh man. I just go to my record now. Bro. Okay. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't searched any case more in that bitch, dog. Oh, who we Miss Liz is dead. Oh, listen, I got catfish by a bitch with no legs. You know what I'm saying? Catfish me, bro. She ain't no fucking legs. This shit ain't no game. This is why I don't fuck with people I don't know like that. Cause I gave them a chance and she played me. You know? No, oh, so but how she show up? Niggas like me. She, well, she hit me up like, let's match. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck it. I pull up on her, you know what I'm saying? And for one, my phone had died before I came. Yeah. My iPhone, you know that iPhone shit takes forever when you in the car try to charge that bitch, right? So when my phone finally come on, she threw up the deuces. Like, I'm like, I called her, like, no, I'm right here. So she called, like, nigga, I've been down here waiting on you for about an hour. So right there, that was a red flag, because the normal bitch ain't waiting for you no. for no. five, ten minutes. You get what I'm saying? So, so boom, fast forward. I'm like, well, tell me where you at. She's like, come around the back. And when you come around, you're going to see me, but hold on, I make a phone call, she hung up. So then when I came around, nigga, I seen two girls walking. I thought they was for me, because they both had legs. They own legs. They legs and legs. You know what I'm saying? Listen, 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 listen. Then they walk, they walk past me. They walk past me, and I'm like, damn, they ain't for me, they ain't expecting nobody. So then she called. She called, like, she called, like, hello, you don't see me? I'm like, no, I, I don't see you. Where you at? Then I see a wheelchair just roll out in the middle of the parking lot. And then the shit was so crazy because at the same time my hand popped up out the wheelchair. It was like, I'm right here. No, <laughs> no. You, you smashed? No, I didn't though. She wanted oh, me. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I, listen, I was so fucked up. I pulled up on her. 
And I couldn't believe this shit because I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. Like, maybe she just got in a car accident. Yeah. She's going to therapy. She's going to be walking again. You know what I'm saying? But, nigga, that ain't the case. It's, it's, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to talk to people. <laughs> to talk about people like that, bro. Bro. It's crazy as hell, bro. Oh, that's the wildest catfish yeah, I had in my yeah, life, bro. Yeah, yeah, God damn. Bro. Now with the music, bro, I've been peeped the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cope with that shit, dog. What's yeah, some yeah. shit you want to do as far as like taking the music off for next year, bro? Uh, man, next year, I think I want to expand. I think we're going to, uh, 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 I'm putting together a marketing team right now. We're going to put more time and money in marketing because the product is already there. Yeah, for sure. It's there. It's just the marketing right now. Yeah, yeah. It's getting the whole world and people who need to see it to become future investors to see it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And the podcast, bro, you got to start putting that yeah, shit out, yeah, dog. Yeah, I am, I am. Because the little clips I seen that, uh, that Diddy put out, dog, I might just think a fool, dog. Hell yeah, yeah. 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 I've been watching the yeah. world, though, so, you know what I yeah. mean? So you've been doing your thing for sure, too, so you got a lot of people on there like us and facts. Hey, man, I for sure got to get you on so we have a long time. Yeah, 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 we're gonna do a top three, dog. I'm gonna give you two. I mean, uh, verses. I'm gonna give you two things. You tell me who wins. Okay. Ads versus titties. Hey. Daylight versus nightlife. It's crazy. I don't know, man. I would say. Nighttime because the hoe you fucking at night, but they be fucking in the day. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> now you used to be a hooper, bro. You yeah. probably still a hooper. Uh-huh. Hooping versus rapping. Ooh, they kind of like, they kind of like cousins that want to be brothers. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So for that's sure. tough. Like, that's cool. I said, sometimes I miss before it's a competitive nature, but rapping is cool. Yeah, hell yeah. It, they both mental. For sure. Way. But basketball, you got to be more physical than fit. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Give me uh, in person game versus DM gun. M- say it again? In- in-person game versus DM game. DM game, ooh. DM game cold. Yeah, hell yeah. Cold. But that's a bad motherfucker. Yeah, what? Because I ain't got to be there. Hell yeah. So you feel me? Lost my mind into it, I'm good. You Give me uh, buffed up versus 211. I'm going with 211. Okay, okay, okay. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Ooh, my birthday in January, so I only get one for both. So I'm going to go with Thanksgiving. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Nigga, you fucking the best, dog. Mm-hmm. You getting ass nigga, you got to keep clothes on, nigga. It depends on who I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm trying to show off. I got. I need. I need all the room, all the angles. I need the legs, all that. The verges, the legs. I need all that. Like, for sure, for you sure. Me? Cause sometimes for you gotta delay it. Sometimes depends on who you fucking to get in there. You gotta get that. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 you want to leave people with some motherfucking uh, some, some advice on, yeah. on getting their music out, starting the podcast, uh, anything. The you know, only thing I would say, man, consistency though, and just just do it, network because you, you hear people say that all the time, but that shit is real. If you really like uh, clamp in on them details, just stand consistent in whatever you want to do. It's just networking and getting out there being seen. Cause you sure. don't don't be inside. That ain't gonna work. You can't network inside. Yeah. 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 Hey man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you gotta come on, nigga. We gotta do a full podcast, yeah. bro. Yeah. Show me your yeah. project, yeah. dog. Yeah. Hit me yeah. up here. I got you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, my God. Yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah. All right, you already know we still in here. We got another guest in the building. What up, dog? Goddamn, she got she do a lot of shit. <laughs> uh, this is Deshondra Staples. Got motherfucking drinks by D, right? Yeah, drinks by D. Talk about that shit, the uh, earwax shit, all that stuff. Yeah, so I just started my little mobile bartending or whatever. Drinks by D. Um, this is a little something I do, and I also am an esthetician now, so I do like facials, waxing, ear candling, chemical pills, stuff like that. Just good skincare because you need to take care of your skin because. Truth be told, your skin is the biggest organ on your body. So a lot of people don't know that. So you really should make sure that you take a real good care of it. Now when you wax, so you, you wax everything? I wax everything. What the, have you had, I know you knew to it. Have you had a crazy moment though? Like Not yet. I, everything been smooth so far. But I had a, a, a client who, um, it was her first time doing like a Brazilian. I swear to God, she screamed so loud. You would have thought somebody was killing her. But now she addicted. She she like, it's the best thing she ever did. Now you know that somebody might be coming in there with a cinch. Man. Like, damn. Yes. I like, said, damn. And I don't know how to put, like, on a poker face and, like, act like it don't sink. So I know I'll be like, girl, but I got to be professional. So it's like, you really can't do that. You yeah, gotta, yeah, yeah. But I hope if it do happen, it happen a long time from now or it don't happen at all. Because I don't even know how I'm reacting for real. I can't even, I can't even lie. Now, I was going to hit you up because my ear was messed up. Your but ear, it's straight, it's straight now. It was messed up at the time. What do that little ear wax in? What do that shit do? So the ear candling, it's more of, like, a holistic way to clean your ears. So you pretty much, I guess like the um the wax, the natural wax that's inside the candle, it pulls up that 
that wax. Okay. Yeah. So it's beeswax that pulls up the wax. It's, people see fire, but it's it's not it's not painful. Yeah. You don't feel like the heat or anything like that, and it's so quick. Yeah. yeah. It feels good though. Yeah, it do. I got it done, and I felt like I had a brand new set of ears. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Now, what made you want to start all this stuff? Are you doing this? You doing the drinks? Like, what made you want to start all this stuff? Well, I've been wanting to do like a mobile bartending, but. You know, I kind of got deterred from it just from life stuff happening. Yeah. Um, but my main focus, really, I want to get a mobile wine tasting. Yeah. So I want to go uh, do like maybe like date nights, girls, whatever, any just for whatever. So that's really my main goal aside of my exposition because I'm really just tired of working for people. Yeah, yeah, I'm tired yeah, of yeah. clocking in. To, truth be told, like no, I, for sure. I am miserable going to work, but I got to, you know, yeah, make it happen until I can do my own thing. So shit, you saying that, well, you see a business like all this stuff you got going on in five years. You see yourself not working for nobody? Oh, no. I'll yourself. give myself a year. Yeah. A year, I'm, I'm done clocking in. I'm going to be clocking in for myself. I ain't going to be clocking in for nobody else for in sure. a year. Now, yeah. you, got, you got a kid. How important for you to have this business so once he get older, it's something that he might be up passed down or, you know what I'm saying? It's very important because I want to teach him that you can. it's easy to be your own boss. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you okay over there? <laughs> That one with that wrong drink. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I want to let him know the importance of entrepreneurship. Like, every, truth be told, everybody is not meant to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. But if he see me work hard and go hard at stuff that I, I want to do, then maybe that will motivate him to know that he can do what he want to do and not, you know, be scared and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, so now you say you hate the working down the five. I hate that shit. No, yeah. Are you trying to push your business even farther to make sure you can get away from that nine five quick as possible? You said, am I? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah. Because like, like you can be doing business, but you can be just chilling, like not do, not going hard. Cause some no, no, no. Shit. Listen, I'm going real hard. I'm to the point where I, I'll come to you if you need me to. Yeah. Like, I travel. So people like, I don't, I don't got no whip for That's okay. I'll come to you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't no biggie, but... One year and I'm done. Was you nervous about starting a business though? Yeah, of course, because I don't like failure. Yeah. I'm super scared of failure. Like, and I'm a perfectionist, so I had to get in the mentality of everything is not going to be perfect right from the jump. You have to work your way up to the top. You know what I'm saying? Now, 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 and get that solid foundation. Now, say shit don't pop off as quick as you wanted to. What's gonna be some shit that's gonna save you from yourself not giving up and not quitting? Oh no, it's gonna pop off. We not even gonna speak that. Oh, that right, 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 my bad, dog. It's gonna pop for off. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's, what's some advice you'll give to somebody who wanted to go out there and start something, but they're too afraid? You gotta, you you gotta go for it. You can't be scared, cause scared money don't make no money. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So you yeah. just you gotta do it. Okay. Take that leap. Now, when, when the last time you got a good cry in? Away from the business. When the last time you cried? What was it? What was it for? Oh, when I graduated from school because I thought I was never going to graduate. It took me a little longer than my classmates because yeah, cool. I had some stuff where I had to take a couple of leaves and I'm like, man, I'm never going to graduate. Yeah. So when I finally graduated, I cried for like two hours straight. What's the craziest thing you did for love? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't when even... They, when they say what, they got something to say. No, I, I don't know. I ain't even, I ain't going to hold you. Have you ever, uh, you, you ever fake cry? You ever, ever, ever threatened to kill yourself? No, what? That's crazy. Hey, that shit. It, it happened to the best of us. No, I'm not going to fake. Act like I'm going to kill myself. Like, I will cry for attention for sure. For sure. Hell for yeah. sure. Now, uh, give me your um, give me your wildest porn search. My wildest porn search? Mine, go away. <laughs> big, I guess like big back black cock. <laughs> Oh shit! Now what's the furthest you and went? Like pays eighty five? Yeah, I, you, it take a minute. You know you gotta keep going so you get that good one. <laughs> they ain't gonna give it hey, to you on the first three hey, pages. You got that one for go. Oh, they hey. kind of been, you know, kind of been falling off though. I'm like, do I need to start making my own? What's going on? I heard somebody, somebody <laughs> to my telling me said something called red tube. That's pretty dope. Red tube? Okay, I had to go check that out. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So, uh, what's like a that. major turn off from a dude? A major turn off. Uh, bad teeth. Like, if you got bad teeth, because the first thing I'm going to look at when I meet a dude is his teeth and his shoes. So, you got some bold shoes on. So, you, got, you, you can't have no, it, it got to be cheap, it got to be high, it got to be expensive. Right. I mean, not necessarily. If you, can, you can dress up everything. If you know how to dress, you can dress up whatever. Sure. You can go get some stuff from Walmart, Target, the uh, uh, thrift store. If you know how 
to put it together, you know how to put it together. I ain't big. I'm not materialistic like that. Sure. Really now we do a thing called verses. Verse? Two things, two people, two places, and you tell me who will win. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do daylight versus nightlife. Nightlife. All right. In person game versus DM game. In person. All right. Fall gear versus summertime gear. Summertime. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Christmas. I hate Thanksgiving food. Christmas. Martin versus First Prince. Martin. A side dude versus a one night stand. <laughs> side dude. Sneaky link. Okay. Your, your ass ate or your pussy ate? I'm not answering. <laughs> I'm not answering that. Drunk sex versus sober sex. Drunk. For okay. sure. Booty butt naked or clothes on? All off. Okay. okay. Bet, bet, bet. <laughs> now, get the people. Where they can find you at, the business, your personal, whatever. So, oh, y'all want to see me make? So, this oh. is my brother's, this is his pop up shop. So, I made him a signature drink. I'm going to make it real quick. Don't be trying to steal my, uh, my, uh, what is my recipe? Yeah, yeah. So, she got the motherfucking, uh, the kinky. Yeah, the blue kinky. Never had that shit before. Yeah, it's straight. Got the Milagro. You can do this with any tequila, but I like Milagro. Tequila. So he always make my legs get weak. What? Like, for sure. Like, that's how I know it's time to, it's time to get down. Legs get weak. Pineapple juice, the splash. No, not too so much, not too so much. You have food in the back. You have food in the back. And I'm putting a little dry ice in there. Don't no laugh at my bag. This is last minute. Yeah, so this what's, is. What's the white? What's the white my cube? Huh? What's the white my cube? For this dry ice, you only need one. One? Yes, they pellet. Let's sure just give it a little extra. Uh, Tell them to yeah, take that. Right now. Dang. Hold on, y'all. People, she ain't got no ice like that. It's, it's evaporating. It was a full bag. Oh, so that's my ice that make that shit go crazy. Yeah, so it'll right. just make it smoke. Just add a little extra yeah, pizzazz little, to it. Okay, okay, a little motherfucking uh, drink on the motherfucking smokes and shit. Yeah, so, but um, I don't have a business page yet for my drinks. You can have this. Oh, shit, I appreciate it. Um, shit, you know what I'm saying? But you can follow my personal page. It's my first and last name, Deshondra Staples. My first name is spelled D-E-S-H-A-W-N-D-R-A. S T A P L E S. I know it's long. <laughs> and then my um business page for my esthetician work is um Love Beauty Skin Studio underscore. Okay, okay. And um what's some uh, encouraging words you wanna give to people? Like don't drink and drive, you know shit like that. Yeah, don't drink and drive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to no, stay drive. up, be positive. Just keep a good hand on your shoulders and you'll be good. For sure, for sure. Hey man, we out. You got my drink, I'm broke, so it's on time. <laughs> What's happening, what's happening? We got two more people in the building right now. You know what I'm saying? Introduce yourself, let people know who y'all is and what y'all got going on. I am Reese, and I am the owner of Respect Shades. HPD Gun, I make music, park life. Okay, 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 okay. What, uh, shit, this year might be over with. What's some shit that you learned about yourself this year that might surprise you or whatever? Something I learned about myself this yep. year that I'm more confident than I was this year. This year than I was last year or any other year. I feel like this year is like my stepper song. I'm like, I'm out here. What's up? For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What about you, big dog? Uh, just, just really balancing for me. Just figuring out balance. That's all. Okay, okay, okay. Now talk about the business. What you what you got going on when you started and all that so, stuff? So, I started it this year, but I have shade, black, brown, white. Yeah. I have a pink hair that's exclusive for October. It represents Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So, I have like the signature ribbon on the side. Oh, yeah, okay, that's dope. So, my glasses are unisex. So, they're for men and Oh, so, oh yeah. Right. Okay, now you on the, on the music tip, you good? Yo. No, 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 no. I just oh. say, uh, <laughs> crazy. No, I got heavy music coming out. Uh, part life, heavy music coming. That's how it is. You rap, you sing, you jo Joe sing? I rap, I rap. Oh, okay, okay. I know you get to sing on shit, man. <laughs> so what gave you that uh that push to start the, the business and stuff? Uh, I just decided it was just time to get it. Something. I feel like I've been wearing sunglasses my whole life, so I'm just like, you know, I need to just come out with my own shades because I feel like they just gonna be popping. They just stylish. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. 
Mm -hmm. They like everyday use. They unisex. So, yeah, so, you, you said, you, so you said you've been rocking glasses for a long time until you decide you want to, you know what I'm saying, get into that business. Yeah. Was that like a something with to do with your confidence, maybe like because you was like no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> for sure, for sure. So um was there a time that since you start how long ago you started this business? Yeah, I was oh, you, oh, you knew. So I'm kind of fresh on the scene. Yeah. Okay, but well, since, since you knew, then what you what you see yourself in the business in five years? Mm -hmm. I see my business growing because I plan on dropping more styles. I'm not going to have different colors. It's going to be like a shade wave. Like shade is essential. Yeah. You can wear a nice day. So, you know what I'm saying? Shades is what's popping. Now with the music, bro. How long you been doing that shit? I've uh, been making music for like five years, but on some serious dropping stuff, I got a lot of stuff in the vault. But uh, I'm gonna get more serious with it. I got a lot of stuff to release, so yeah, y'all should be seeing a lot from me in the next coming months. For sure, for sure. Where you where you see the music in five years, dog? You, you yourself? Uh, in the next year, I should be like somewhere, cause I I got like I said, I got a lot of content. I just gotta just get out there. So that's my thing, just getting out here, marketing, getting out here. Now we gonna get away from the business and stuff a little bit. One last time, you got a good cry. In. A good what? A good cry in. A good cry. Uh, so what was it for? Wow, I ain't crying in a while. Uh, may, I, maybe when I have my baby or something. Okay, 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 okay. That was the last time I cried. What about you? Thought you took that life, man. Hell yeah. For sure. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, um, <laughs> what's the craziest thing you searched on Pornhub? I'm going Pornhub. I don't like porn. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is bad. I don't fuck with porn, bro. Don't turn me off, bro. I don't even want to have sex with her. Watch her porn. What do it turn you off of? Like, you be like, damn, I can't do that. Like, it just be too nasty. <laughs> Man, about watching somebody else. Yeah, watching somebody yeah. else. Sometimes you're a little curious, might want that goddamn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my go-to, my go-to is like I like I like seeing what the chicks do together. And then one time, I, the craziest thing I searched was uh, some handicap. Awesome. Her legs didn't work. So you picked up. Why would you watch that? I was just curious. I wanted to see how it looked. Like, her legs was dead as hell. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Alright, so what's your, uh, what keep y'all motivated outside? You know, kids and family. Like, what keep y'all motivated doing what y'all do? I'm just trying to come from a different angle. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of shit concentrated around the wrong shit in the world. So I'm just trying to figure out a better way to push something different, a different narrative for real. You stay away from kids, but I feel like my daughter that motivate me because yeah. I feel like she see her mom doing something, she gonna be like, look, I can do anything, you can sure. do anything you put your mind to. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, good, yeah, cause that, it gotta be important for her to grow up and see you working yeah. independently, ain't working for nobody, all that good shit. Now towards the end we do a thing called versus. I give you two people, two things, and y'all tell me who'll win. Daylight versus nightlife. Daylight, I guess. What you say? Who was they? Daylight or nightlife? Daylight, daylight versus nightlife. Oh, daylight. 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 Fall gear versus summertime gear. I wanna say both. Both. Okay. Yeah. Drunk, say drunk sex versus sober sex. Sober. Okay. <laughs> Let me get uh Martin versus Fresh Prince. A side piece versus a one night stand. Side piece. Side piece. If I had a pick, but I would figure out. All right. In, in game, in game, in person game versus DM game. In person game. Now the last one is gonna be for a young lady. If she wanna answer it, cool, not cool. Ass eight versus pussy eight. Oh. Okay, okay, good, good answer, good answer. <laughs> now tell people where, where you can follow y'all at and all that good stuff. So you can follow my business page at respects or you can follow my personal page. Reese's pieces three underscores. Part Life Chef Made Gang, but Instagram and everywhere else, Part Life HP. Oh, HP. Oh, shit, man. My nigga, uh, shout out to my nigga Stats Hustle. 
Oh yeah. Oh, oh right. the so HP, HP's trice. Yeah. yeah. Got the whole group. He know. He HP. He oh, had yeah. a little group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the niggas. Shout out to him. Part right, part right, part right, part right. Yeah, shout out to my nigga Deshaun, man. Cooper and shit, man. All that shit. Hey, man, holla at y'all, man. Peace. We got another special guest in the building. You know what I'm saying? Let the people know who you is and what you got going on. Hey, y'all. My name is Tisa. My Instagram is at the real Tisa underscore. Mm -hmm. I am a makeup artist and a content creator. Okay, 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 okay. Now, uh, we usually do a thing called Salute Me While I'm Here. But it can't be a normal, typical answer like my kids or my mom and dad. It got to be somebody outside that circle. Mm -hmm. You got somebody you want to give some flowers to while they still here? Um... I'm gonna give flowers to my boyfriend because he came here to support me and him he helped me package everything and you know. Yep, shout out to boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now uh yes they were sweeties there. Mm -hmm. What did you get uh boyfriend? Um I got him some AirPods and I gave him some money. Oh shit, you 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 like, right here. Gave him like five hundred. Hey, cause a lot of people be thinking they're gonna store that pussy out there, it's gonna be like <laughs> Yeah, but sometimes not enough. Yeah, happy holidays. <laughs> Now, um, uh, um, with the business, when did you start the business and what gave you that motivation? Um, I've been doing makeup for about five years. Um, uh, I've, I've always been into like fashion and beauty, so I knew I was going to be in like the beauty field. So like, yeah, and you know, my sister Shay, okay. so okay. she really helped me and motivated me and let me know like I can have yeah, a career with makeup. For sure. yeah. Now, when I'm looking at your makeup, it looks straight, it looks cool. But some women just go overboard, go crazy, like they like a crusty clown, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, what, 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 what be like? Is they going to the wrong person or like? Yeah, they could be going to the wrong person. Some people just do makeup too dramatic, too light, yeah. like, uh, uh, like big eyebrows. It's a trend in these yeah, yes, people like, like, like big eyebrows, yeah. and I hate it so much. Yeah. I love natural. Natural is my favorite. Is there ever like a look with a woman that she really don't need makeup and make you know what I'm saying at all, like, like? Well, I mean, nobody needs makeup. Makeup is just like. Hold on, hold on. You said nobody needs makeup. No one needs makeup. It's not. It's not a necessity. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's just like it's just something you like to do. Like if you're going out somewhere, yeah. it's help you it's feel special. It. Yeah, make you feel special, make you feel good. Like you know, change your vibe up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, would you say your sister won't give you the push to do the, do this makeup? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, will you see this in five years? Well, in five years, hopefully. Uh, I'm a stylist. I'm really working on becoming a stylist. I love fashion. Um, I always style like my friends and my sister, like for photo shoots and everything. So hopefully, cross fingers. Yeah. I'm working with both. New York Fashion Week, sure. Paris yeah. Fashion Week. Let's Hell get yeah. tested. Now, do you have kids? No. Now, now once you do have kids, because I'm, 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 I'm quite sure y'all will have some kids. How important is it to you know, see a mom like doing something with their life, with her life, and it's something that maybe they can inherit as far as the build, the business. Well, I feel like it's really important because I grew up watching my mom do hair, and she did hair like you know at home, and it's just like I feel like that's what motivated me like with my um like you know my beauty and stuff like having a passion for fashion and beauty like that really motivated me. So hopefully if I have a daughter, she's yeah. the same way. Yeah, yeah, you said that daughter real quick. <laughs> Was it time that you ever thought about giving up on this? Or you might got discouraged or unmotivated? Yeah, it's you know it's discouraging, but like. It's just crazy sometimes, but like, you yeah. know, I would rather work for myself. I don't like being told what to do. I no. like doing what I want to do. No, for sure. Yeah, we can't work for the white man, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta get by that shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, when was the last time you cried? And what was and what was the reason? Ooh, last time I cried. Oh, my birthday. Okay, what my happened? My birthday was Monday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. And I was just having like a really, really good birthday. So it made me cry, you know, like, I was really happy. You mind us asking how old? Uh, 23. Oh shit, you damn she young. Yeah, <laughs> man, I, I wish I was 23, man. Damn, I, now I feel bad. I'm old as hell. <laughs> All right, what's the craziest thing you have done to keep love, or vice versa? Craziest thing I've done to keep love? Yeah, um, you, like you didn't want Craig to go, like no Craig. To be honest, like Chase. Mm -hmm. Like, if my boyfriend would storm out, mm. I would chase him. And okay. I feel like that's crazy. <laughs> that's like, that's the part I'm going. Yeah. Okay, okay. What's the what's the craziest thing you searched on porn? Oh my God, don't watch porn, guys. Low vibrational. Very oh. low vibrational. <laughs> oh, man. So you, low say, you, you say as a no-go for that, huh? No. Okay. Um, what's the... Have there ever been a funny moment that you got caught having sex? By somebody else? Of course. No. 
<laughs> hey, she won't answer that, man. She got caught up. Now, towards the end, I always ask a, um, a versus battle. I give you two scenarios, you tell me which one wins. Okay. All right. Drunk sex versus sober sex. Ooh, drunk. <laughs> Yo, everybody say it's drunk, dog. <laughs> Daylight versus nightlife. Nightlife, for okay. sure. Fall gear versus summertime gear. Okay, you cook your cooking versus your sister cooking. My sister, she's a chef. Oh, really? oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Martin versus Fresh Prince. Martin. Okay, okay, okay. The last thing I'm gonna ask you. Ass eight, pussy eight. Vagina eight. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> she said, vagina, please. <laughs> Pretend to me. <laughs> okay, now, um, what's you, what you want to leave people off with, like, as far as some encouraging words, some motivation words? Um, okay, motivation. Just don't be scared to be yourself. Just know yourself is enough. You know, social media can change you in ways, the stupid trends and all that, but you just have to stay true to yourself. For sure, for sure. And uh, let the people know again where you can follow you at. Uh, my Instagram is at the real Baptista underscore. And yeah, don't get your makeup in. For sure, for sure. Hey, y'all, go follow her. Get y'all some glasses, all that good makeup in. You know what I'm saying? Go hit up. Peace. <laughs> all right, we back. We got two people in the building. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Tell me, uh, tell me about yourself. What you got going on? This is why it's all that good stuff. Uh, my name is Tasha, and I have an online boutique called Royal Heart. Mm-hmm. Serving sizes small through 3X. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I just restart. I just started rebranding my business this year. Okay. I had it last year, but I had a business partner. So this year I'm by by myself. You mind asking what happened with you and the business partner? Like, was it like some beef from class? Um, no, it, was, it wasn't any beef. It was my best friend, okay. and we were on two totally different pages. I get it. And, I get it. You know, we thought we could do it together, but yeah. it didn't right. work out like that. Let me ask you something before I get to the business. What's something that y'all learned about yourself this year? Um, it's like, damn, I didn't even know I was capable of doing this, or you know what I'm saying? Um, really, doing what I'm doing now. Uh, I work over 40 hours a week, you know, trying to run my business at the same time, and I just started going back to school, so. Oh, so hell yeah. Just pushing myself to further limits, basically. What about you, friend? What, what's your name? Nakisha. Nakisha, okay. what about you? What's something you learned about yourself, Nakisha? Uh, I don't got no patience. <laughs> How you learn that? You know what? Because everybody kept telling me, like, like you, you always on go. You always doing the next thing, rushing, doing something, rushing, doing something. And I'm like, you know, I just got anxiety real bad. Sure. And I didn't think it was a bad thing, but it's starting to, I'm starting to realize I need you to, like, <laughs> slow down a little bit. For sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> now, um, with the business, you said you started two years ago. Um, yes. What gave you that push to continue on? Because a lot of times, like you said, you came in with somebody, you separate, you go separate, you kind of be like, all right, well, fuck, I'm over it. Um, really the push is, it's crazy because it's like I can see it, you know how you can feel something. For sure, for sure. But it's not there yet. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm excited about it, but it's moving slow, but at the same time, it's like I can already see where it can be in the future. Oh, yeah. Like I already have the vision, like I haven't touched it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's really what's motivating me. And also just to be my own boss, I'm I'm tired of clocking in for somebody else. Hell yeah. Now, can working a nine to five... Can that kind of discourage you from the business? Because you're like, I'm spending so much time at work. I'm not doing what I want to do as far as my business and stuff. Yes, it definitely do. Because you be tired. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I call myself moving at midnight because I thought it'd give me more time. But it's like you sleep in, in the day. Hell so yeah. Oh, yeah. It, is, it is hard and it's discouraging. And, you know, there be times where I do fall off. Mm-hmm. And then I got to tell myself, like, you got to keep going if you want this to go somewhere. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. Honestly, being at work, you know what I'm saying? I do make good money, but being there, I'm miserable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though my business is moving uh, slowly, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy doing that. For sure, for sure. And sometimes ain't no dollar amount that's going to make you happy. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're doing something that you're passionate about, that's going to be your happy with you. Yes. So where you see the business in five years? Um, five years? Storefront. Yes. Storefront, for sure. I'm going to say storefront. Okay. But... Uh, five years. Wait, that's five years. <laughs> so, five years. I see storefront, but I also want to be open up a second business. Okay. Well. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So, what's some advice you got for somebody who wants to start the business, but they too afraid? Do it. Hell yeah, just, just, just go ahead and do it. Like, yeah. ain't no long time. 
ain't no right time. Just get up and do it. It, uh, it ain't never too late. Okay, this, so this for you on location. When last time y'all got a good cry in? What was it for? When the last time we what? You got a good cry in, and, and what was the reason? The last time. Girl, I cried yesterday. Right. <laughs> oh, nah, no. No, my God. See, y'all yeah, yeah, tell me that one right there. Oh, the last time you cried. I haven't cried since. I was on the verge of crying the other day. Why, wow, what That was... Uh, just life, period. Yeah. Relationship, work. Um, I'm going through some stuff with my son. He's okay. a teenager. Oh, yeah, I know. Hell yeah, hell yeah. My son's 15. School, um, his school stuff, and my work schedule, my business. Yeah. It, it was just, it was a lot going on. Yeah. So I, I didn't actually cry. It was there. But it was there. It was there. It was definitely there. Yeah, it what about you, Akeem? What last time you cried? I don't know. I don't, I don't even, I don't know, and I, I feel like I need to cry. I, yeah, I feel like I'm cool. No, I ain't gonna cry. Uh, so you hold me in. No, I didn't mean it. Purpose, like, I feel like I'm holding so much back. Like I feel like I need to cry. Yeah. I haven't cried in so long. I can't even remember. Like Damn. I can't even remember the last thing I cried right. about. So answer this: What's the craziest thing y'all did to keep love, or vice versa? Somebody did to keep y'all from leaving. Ooh, I got married. Hey, you still here? I'm going through a divorce. Oh shit, I'm sorry to hear that. No, I'm not. Don't be sorry. Okay, okay well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. And she was like, let's get married. Yeah. And I, I really thought she was just like bullshit, like trying to make up, like trying to stop me from leaving. But we ended up actually going to get married. Okay, okay, damn. Me, um, I really don't be doing nothing crazy. Um, Wait, is there something crazy to keep you from leaving? I mean, every guy always try to, you know, pull out the, the last minute tricks. I mean, it ain't nothing like super, super crazy. Okay, okay. That's, that's what I consider crazy. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's calling me. You know what I'm saying? Right at the end. Hell yeah. You know, hey. the little stuff, you know what I'm saying? They pull out all the little mini tricks. But me, I'm too big on pride. So, we doing something crazy. Like, I'm not about to show up to your house. I'm not about to do none of that. Because my pride. Yeah. I, I don't like looking stupid. I don't like doing stupid stuff. I just rather. Yeah, so I'm more nonchalant about it. I was trying to be Spider Man for love. I was climbing. I was trying to climb up the apartment building and see what was going on. Aww. Hell yeah. What the fuck? You cheating? Like, <laughs> But that's, that's, that's in my past, but... Uh, oh, so damn. give me, what's the craziest thing y'all searched on porn before? Y'all craziest porn search? Category-wise? Yep, anything. Well, it, 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 wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't nothing that I had typed in, but this girl, she typed in, like, gay boys fucking oh, shit. porn hub. And I'm like, why the fuck do you want to watch that? Like, yeah. see, I, that's I'm like, I'm mediocre. I don't think that, that's, that was a good thing. What's your search? Go ahead and tell me your search. Your mediocre search. My search is just really a... Yes, uh, such a baby. It's just a um. Oh, no, I can't say it. Okay. <laughs> it, can't, no, it can't be. It can't be worse than mine. No. 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 All right, well, we're past that. Oh, we're past it. Okay. Now I got a thing towards the end called versus. I give you two categories, two people. Y'all tell me who win. Drunk sex versus sober sex. Drunk, Drunk sex. sex. Oh. <laughs> Daylight versus nightlife. Nightlife. I have a daylight. All right, DM game versus in-person game. In-person, in-person. Person. All right, Thanksgiving versus Christmas. 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 Okay, fall versus summer. Fall. Summer. Okay. Fall. 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 Fall.
So this is for my boutique royal broad. Okay. The whole outfit. You got the boyfriend jacket and the boyfriend jeans. And we have this cute cross graphic tee okay. tied up to closure. Okay, people, I, I give it a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, it's a vibe. Oh yeah, it's a whole vibe. It's a good, it's a good looking vibe. You know what I'm saying? But uh, appreciate y'all coming through, talking it up. Hey, come on, uh, this car. Make sure y'all follow, follow back. Oh, okay. Let me get it. All right. All right, we back. We got two more people. You know what I'm saying? Introduce yourself. Let me know what y'all got going on. All that good stuff. My name is Arden. I'm representing the Body Bar. I am the CEO. I have a natural skincare line. We make organic skincare products for people that's some uh, hyperpigmentation. You know, dark marks, dry skin. What about you, bro? Uh, my name is Vaughn Thompson. I'm a barber. Uh, Trust and Cuts is my business name. I've been cutting hair for six years and I work at the Trust Juice Barber. What's up, Juice Barber Shop? What's, uh, what's some shit y'all, it's the end of the year. What's some shit y'all learned about y'all this year? That you like, damn, I'm surprised. Like, I didn't even know that shit. Um, I think I'm such a hard worker. I set a goal and I don't realize that I meet the goal until I set my new one. Okay, okay, okay. Or, or, or somebody let you know while you're doing your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. I don't really uh, pat myself on the back enough. Wait, what about you? This year, I learned that I could do anything. What's up? Um, I challenged myself and I've made a lot of accomplishments and hit a lot of goals I never thought I'd make. Okay, okay, okay. Now, you being a barber, man, what's your worst haircut you ever had, man, coming up, man? Are you having uh, time going to school again? Like, damn, like, they, they went in on me. Uh, like, the worst haircut? I would, I would say I have unfavorable haircuts. So sometimes I don't like the. Uh, just a, just like a, a burst fade yeah. on an old 50, 50 year old dude. Yeah, but like <laughs> just stuff that don't make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like now, um, what, what, made, what, what led y'all to start y'all business and doing what y'all doing? I started my business off the grind. I needed money. I'm in college. Uh -huh. You feel me? Oh, congrats on that. I just need money. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I look at it as a business. I don't like working jobs. I can't keep a job to save my life. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just, <laughs> I just figured if I start my own business, I can never lose. What's the worst job you had? Tropical smoothie. Oh, shit. Yeah. I worked there for one day. Damn. Like eight hours, and what? I quit. What was so bad about that shit? It was a pool party. Yeah. So I had somewhere to go. Damn. <laughs> hey, this supposed to be hitting, though, dog. Okay. <laughs> what led you being bubble, bro? Um, honestly, man, I was at work. And I had I had a slight breakdown, like I'm tired of doing this. Yeah, for sure. What I'm was, tired of doing what, this. What, what was the job? Uh, I was a cart corral at Menards. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Damn, man. Hey, that's how I be. You back be in college, though. Man, you be at them jobs. You be that shit. That shit stretch you the fuck out, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For, so what gave you all that push to start, though? Because a lot of times we talk about shit that we want to start, but we be too afraid of failure. What um, we scared of? Yeah. Hey, shit, failure, shit. Them teams yeah. don't want to be told like they shit ain't dope. Even this podcast shit, that shit can be, niggas can think it's ass, that could be a, a sign of... We don't care about that, we not your average people. We not scared for people to tell us what they don't like, what, we don't really care. We gonna do us, we gonna make money, we gonna be a brand, and we gonna be good. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah most definitely. You say, you say, you say, you say, uh, I would definitely say what pushed me is, is just not, I was broke. Yeah, I was broke. <laughs> Playing I was simple. stressed out, and I felt like... Um, I could do something that I've always been doing. So, yeah. Yeah. What, what y'all see yourself with what y'all doing in five years? Say that one more time. What do y'all see yourself with what y'all got going on in five years? Um, I would say, I would say in five years I'm gonna be 31. You know what I'm saying? So at 31, uh, I want to be in ownership. I want to be in ownership. In 29, I see myself. Um. Living my life. I see myself getting a storefront. I, I always had a dream of having my own building, mm -hmm. which is to my own corporation with everything I want to do under one roof. Mm -hmm. So whether it be skincare, clothing, mm -hmm. psychology, yeah. therapy, I'm going to get it done. Oh, you see, you see, you in that therapy, huh? Mm -hmm. so I'm a psychology major. Oh, shit, shit, shit. So niggas coming to you stressed out, you know how I handle that shit. Damn near. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, what's some advice you'll give to somebody who want to start that shit, but just, like I said, too afraid? What's your advice to them? Don't stop. Don't quit on yourself. Even when you feel overwhelmed and stressed out, it's just best that you just keep going because you never know the outcome, you know? Like, you just got to keep going with everything you do in life. You always got to keep going. 
you gotta keep grinding, keep getting money, never quit on yourself, never quit on the people that support you, never always support your team, never quit on your team, and you will be straight. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. What about you, bro? Um, I would I would say the same thing, kinda never give up, but also do your research. You know what I'm saying? Uh, know what business is and know what you want your business to be. Have a target audience. Good job. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, Even if you don't do that shit. <laughs> really? For real, for real. Even really? if you don't do it, like, just kind of like put that into play. Be organized. You know what I'm saying? Be uh, professional. Uh, do good business. Now, I don't know if y'all too thug like to answer this question. But when last time y'all cried, what was the reason? Cried? I just cried on the way here. Why? What was up? I was an hour late. I didn't have none of my stuff together. <laughs> I forgot my poster at home. I forgot my sign at home. My price list at home. I was so overwhelmed. I literally cried 15 minutes before. I was crying on the way here, pulling up. Damn. What, what about you, bro? I know you, you might be too tough to tell me, dog. Fuck it. Um, I feel probably like a week ago. Okay, okay, okay. Probably just overwhelmed. Yeah. Hell yeah. What's, what's the craziest thing y'all did for love? In regards to what? Shit, you didn't want that person to leave? I would, I would say the craziest thing I did for love was just be miserable. <laughs> How about you? Have you ever fake cry? Say so you gonna kill yourself? Yeah. Oh, shit! <laughs> Man. <laughs> like, dog, I'm off myself right now. I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I don't do stuff like that. What's the, what's the craziest car search? The craziest one you ever search? I go first to loosen up. I, I search handicap one. Motherfucker, the, the, the little chick, her legs was dead as hell. So when you picked up by the wheelchair, motherfucker was just dead. What's my craziest? What's your craziest? Why you want to know mine first so you feel comfortable? Yeah. Uh, I would probably say probably like... Uh, I don't know. Probably, I, don't, I don't get too wild on the fetish. It's probably some gangbang shit or something. Yeah, it's like ethnic, lesbian, hardcore, gangbang stuff on it. Oh, shit. <laughs> gangbang? She's like, she wants that shit hard. Like, Why you just tying up? <laughs> she was hype as hell, right there. I'm scared of you. No, no. Now, towards the end, we do a thing called versus. I give you two categories, two things, and y'all tell me who will win. Drunk sex versus sober sex. I'm going sober to push you ready. <laughs> That's true. Daylight versus nightlife. Day. Uh, I'm going to say day because I like to go to sleep at 9 o'clock. DM, DM game versus in person game. In person. Uh, I'm going to go middle. People okay. on the internet are weird. Hey, hey, you, hey, you might find some love sometimes. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Thanksgiving. Christmas. All right, ass versus titties. Ass, so okay. Butt naked sex or some type of clothing. Butt naked. Butt naked all day. All right, buffed up versus two eleven. Buffed up. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's hard. Hey, <laughs> two eleven for sure. Wait, wait. You fucked up. up. Nah, but that's hard. You fucked up. I like them both. I watch them both every day. All right, Martin versus Press Prince. Martin. Martin. Uh, one night stand versus the side piece. One night stand. I agree. One night stand. All right, I think it's right for her. Ass A versus Pussy A. Which one you, which one you better have? <laughs> okay, vagina please. <laughs> Alright, let the people know where they can find y'all on social media, all that good stuff. You can find me on Instagram at the Body Bar. Body with two eyes instead of a Y. You can find me on TikTok at the Body Bar. And my cash app, of course, is the Body Bar. Okay, what about you, bro? Uh, Saucy Cuts. Uh, Saucy Cuts on Instagram. I work at Detroit Juice Barbershop. That's our uh, Instagram as well. Uh, no Cut, No Butt. This the logo. Period. And shout out to Hustle. Shout out to Hustle. Shout out to Hustle. Shout out to Will. Everything I wear is black on. So, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Y'all want, yeah. want to leave somebody with some motivation to work? I would say never give up. Never give up. This shit is trial and error. So don't get don't get uh, fucked up on the air. It's all trial and error. Just keep don't going. Don't be a fucking bum. Oh, shit. Hey. No matter what you do.
So don't be a fucking bum. Get this fucking money. It's all the way out here for sure. Can you talk to a dude that's on the fries at McDonald's, but they got goals and ambition? Of course. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, all right, fuck. McDonald's. Cheese cap. Then come, come out. Cheese cap. <laughs> Cheese cap. I'm sorry. I had to call that out. What's happening? What's happening? We got two more people. Sit down with your boy. Uh, introduce yourself. Let y'all know what y'all got going on as far as business. Your name, every, every, um, all that good stuff. Well, I am Marshall with Marshall Nail Artistry. As you can see, I make press on nails, custom nails. Each nail is handcrafted, so you know, one of a kind. Then I have oils. Body oil is very good. It has aloe vera in it. Pineapple smells really good. I was about to say it smells good. It smells really good. Okay. And then I have smaller ones. These are for nails, for your cuticles, you know. So if my, if my wife put this on, I'm gonna jump on her. Yeah, you don't jump on it. Uh, it smells like pineapple. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna jump right on that. Jump okay. right on it. Okay. Yeah. What's, what's, what's good? What's your name? Hi, I'm Dylan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you part of? How y'all? How y'all link up? How y'all become friends and get into this? This is my best friend. Yeah. AKA Brand Ambassador. So Dee Dee wears my nails, promote, you know. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, everything. I love her and I'm just so proud of her and to be a part of this experience is a, a blessing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So now it's you about to be over with. What's something that y'all learned about y'all stuff that might surprise y'all? I know for me, for me, I learned about business and how to uh, maneuver in the correct the correct direction, if that makes sense, from her, because she's taught me a lot about business and uh, marketing and things like that, so I know that's one of the things I've learned from you. Yeah. What's something you about yourself? Something I learned is, stop procrastinating, yeah. get to that bag. People always say they get into the bag, not really get into the bag. If you're procrastinating, you're not getting up, and days are passing by, you can't do that. If you're going to be a business owner, a boss, Get up and get to work. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Can't waste no time. No? Bro. Can't waste no motherfucking time. In no time. So uh, when did you start the business and what put you started? Well, I started my press on nails 2018. Okay. Um, I started because I used to do nails, but then I got tired of dealing with so many people. I needed another income. Yes. I'm like, what else can I do to branch off to be better? I wanted to be a better woman, have more things. That's how I came up with my press on nails, the oil, you know. Was that, was that time you wanted to give up? Like, man, this shit ain't going Absolutely. Morning. Talk about it. Talk about it. I've been doing nails since I was a kid. It's been multiple times I gave up. It's been multiple times I had a regular job. I'm just like, forget nails. Period. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It be the people, the energy. That's really important. Your mental health is important. Not fast, fast, fast. So if the people not right, you can't, you can't even, you don't feel comfortable doing, you know, doing nails yeah. or whatever. So the people you have around you. I started to realize my purpose is to help people, to teach people. People, you know, to learn from things like I'm sorry, that's the shit. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, it's, it's ass shaking up there, y'all. I'm yeah. sorry. That <laughs> it's okay. Who ass? Who ass? Ain't gonna hurt nobody. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> okay, but pretty much, I love what I do. Sure. It made me a better woman. It's it's more convenient for the girls, you know, people that that's moms, they have kids, they can't have appointments last minute. Yep, yep, put the boys right back on. Yep. Yes. And then I handcraft each nail, so it's like I'm an artist. So you getting, you know, you're getting good products. Yeah. So where y'all see yourself with the business in five years? Rich? What was the question? I said, where y'all see yourself with the business in five years? Oh, yeah. Rich. Definitely rich. And doing something together. Yeah. Co partnering with something together. Yeah. I definitely see that in the near future. Maybe a podcast. Yes. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah, I definitely want to start a yeah. podcast. And Not seeing you guys today, I'm sorry. I don't oh, no, wait, wait, wait. But seeing you guys today and the background and everything of it, I. Like, no, it's like inspiration. Like, it is. No, it's, it is. Fun, it's fun. But the only thing I'll say about this is, like, you just got to be committed to it. Yes. Because a lot of people do it. And then fall off. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're gonna get two views. Right. Sometimes you might get a thousand. But that's where every if you a business owner, that's where everything you're gonna get it overwhelmed. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta breathe, relax, and yeah. do what you gotta do. Take one step at a time. Now y'all being friends and y'all doing this together. Yes. What will y'all do to make sure there's never no rift in between y'all two? We I never had that from jump. Yeah. So we all sometimes when money comes into play, hey. It's not even that's even if money does come into play, which it it, it has and you know, in different ways, whatever the may, that way may be. But even if it does, we don't 
disagree about it. We've never argued about it. We're actually good with money. Like, you know, know how to talk to If I don't another. have it, he has it. If he don't yes. have it, I got it. Okay. Okay. Right. I ain't got so it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say I'm going to say You can get five. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. If I got it, you got it. No, no, no. Now, off of that, when last time y'all got good quiet and what was the reason? We got good what? A good quiet and what was the reason? Should we talk about it? You talk about it. Y'all both cry together? Wait, wait. Look at that. They cry together, too. That's still a movie. That was a good cry. Okay, yeah. So the last time we cried, and right, and, and yeah. So it was her old place we were at, and we were talking about our grandparents, and God was basically just flowing through both of us, and speaking through us and whatnot, and basically lifting each up, each, each of us back up uh, during a rough moment, okay. basically. And that's what happens most of the time when we have conversations. God's always in the center. Of oh, always. For sure, for sure. Oh, but yeah. y'all fuck. Yes. Yes. What's the craziest thing y'all did for love to keep somebody from leaving? Or vice versa, something, something somebody did crazy to y'all <laughs> to keep y'all from leaving? Oh, well, what they did with? to me? What, what they did to you or what you did to them to stop them from leaving? Or, 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 or you know, sometimes, like you know, people say, I'm going to kill myself. Oh, That's the phone, please. I mean, that's what, hey, love will make you do some crazy shit. Well, I got my door kicked in before. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, you trying to uh, break the way? Yeah. I have. Yeah. I <laughs> kicked the door in. Yeah. We thought, um, you thought you were doing something great? Yeah, but it was a, it was one of my best friends at my house, a woman. Okay. So when he kicked the door in, you looking stupid because like, it's a woman. He kicked in surprise. <laughs> right. Surprise, idiots. Yeah. Now what? But, um... One thing I did crazy for love, that was a question, right? For yep. love. I mean, the craziest thing, I'm not really crazy when it comes to stuff, but like, I threw a rock at somebody's car. That's the crazy. That's, that's, good job. that's the most, because who got time for that? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, honestly, I've never done anything crazy because if it doesn't align with me and what my purpose is and what I'm trying to do, then I'm not going to let that bad energy distract from what blessings I have to come. Um, what someone's done crazy to me is, uh, <laughs> um, someone, what someone else has done to me, right? Be. Crazy. I mean, I had a boyfriend of five years, I guess, and, um, the old, the old girlfriend, she came back into the picture okay. and kind of tried to start some mess. If that makes sense. So that was like the craziest thing. Okay, okay. And my longest relationship was five years. So, but that was like four years ago. So okay, okay. I've grown a ball. For sure, for Hold sure. On. What's the craziest porn search? Craziest porn search? I don't know if I want to say that. <laughs> um, XMXX. Yeah, I, like, why are you laughing at it? You know what's funny? We were just talking about, we were just talking about porn sites. Big ass. Yeah, that, that's that, that, that's your I, that's your normal search. What's the what's the weirdest shit? I don't search weird shit. I don't search. Weird. I'm not weird. I'm not about to search no animals. I'm not. I, search, I just want to see the wreck. You we, search what? No, I search uh, handicap one. I just want to see how it looks. That's the, 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 the girl. Her, you need to be fired. Her, her legs. You need to her, be fired. Her, her legs are paralyzed. So when he got her, when he picked up by her chair, her legs was like that. Oh Jesus. Yeah, she, he went to work. Oh my god. And he was okay with that. I guess so. I wanted to see how it was. Did she enjoy it? I mean Did I, you enjoy it? No, I, no, I wasn't like trying to place myself in there while I was watching it. I just wanted to see it. It was funny. Okay. So I'm like, let me see how she looked. Okay, okay. I don't know if she felt it because she was paralyzed. <laughs> so we don't even know if she enjoyed it. <laughs> Jesus. Hey. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. <laughs> Another one? Oh my okay. God. Another one? I don't want to say that a lot. It's just very funny. Is, is anybody, it's just us? No, it's not. We don't care. It's a lot of people. Okay, no. Something that interests me is like midgets. Midgets? Oh, I saw some midgets before. That's the best. That's I didn't a know little that. fucking person. That's a but usually, usually midgets, 
they got she got no big big old boogies in general. You know what I'm saying? So. But the fucking legs. Your legs is this big. Your arms is this big. It's <laughs> it's not okay. In the, no. Man. Mm. Next subject. All right, so I end everything off with a versus battle. I give y'all two people, two scenarios, two things, and y'all tell me who wins. Okay. Drunk says versus sober says. What Drunk. Okay. Now. Damn, everybody drunk. Okay. Drunk. Alright, well, let's talk about drunk. Drunk sex versus sober sex. Drunk. Drunk. But see, it depends on the girl. Cause sometimes she'd be a little too drunk that she messes up. Sometimes you be too sober messing it up. Cause get off of me at the end of the day. Like I'm I gotta wash the dishes. It's too much you gotta think about. Girl, that's a lot of when you drunk, dishes. you like, alright, let's let's go. That's a lot of when you sober, I gotta wash the dishes, take out the club. I gotta. Yeah. yeah. Alright, daylight daylight versus nightlife. Nightlife. I'm a night owl. Night. Yeah. All right. In person game versus DM game. In person. In person. All right. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Christmas. Thanksgiving. Okay. Fall gear versus summer gear. Summer. I like to be half naked. Summer. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Summer. summer. All right. Sunshine. Summer. Ass versus titties. Ass. Ass. Alright. Heavy. Heavy. Heavy on the ass. <laughs> Naked sex versus some clothes on. Naked. Naked. Alright. What are we doing? Because why is people being weird? Alright, what about that? Close the thing on the top of the feet. Get the socks on. Take the... No. For so what? Shit, nigga might have bad feet. I don't have a full fetish. For Who's looking at your feet? Shit. You keep your socks on? Oh, uh, me and my wife, we usually just get butt naked, but at first I put my socks on. Was you, was you, you didn't want to see your feet? No, it's just, it's just like, I what, just, mid, mid, it was just mid action, you just randomly take your socks off? Well, no, we just, we be in the bed, like, so no, but like, back then, I did like, work. socks and a, uh, and, and a white beater, like, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. uncomfortable. That's your oh. white. For you, what? No, no, I'm good with it. Shit, I, shit, <laughs> you get in, how you get in. Mario versus first Prince. What is that? Martin versus First Print. Martin. Martin, all the way. Right. On, hands down. A side piece versus a one night stand. One night stand. One night stand. And so y'all gone, huh? No side pieces. Okay, okay. And no walk No of side shame. of fucking mashed potatoes. And no walk of no shame, side sir. of gravy. No, no walk of shame. That too. None. All right, so this I'm gonna ask all ladies this question. You want your booty or a vagina? Both. <laughs> Okay. Oh. <laughs> Can you see me? Both. Yeah. Two times. Is it a must that we uh that, that oral sex is, 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 is happening before sex? Like for gotta, me, yeah. It gotta have it all. Yeah. For me, yes. Yeah. Oh, you're first. not getting touched. First. But I am. Wait, what? What? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Who's the prize? Who's the prize? Hey, you. Hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, she'll be getting kicked out the house. <laughs> what happened? You can't do that. What? So you against doing that? You against No, I'm not. That's just what I prefer. Like, wow. I was over sex. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Can you repeat the question? He didn't hear you. What's that? He didn't repeat, hear your question. Oh, I said vagina. I, I said vagina eating versus ass. Uh, right. Yeah. No, not that one. Oh, but then I asked her, do she put her, her dude? And she said no. As in oral. Yeah. Deserve, you know, yeah. like you're not about to just be. You deserve. Hold on, so you, you, I'm getting down. You gotta get down. Like, no, it's a, it's a trade. No, it's I'm a trade off. Down. You know what I'm saying? All right, well, it's not a trade off. Like, that's that's what you have it wrong. So if, if we in a relationship, hey, if, if I'm no, you're chicken, giving that head, I'm giving that ass equal. No, hell no, not equal. Yes, I just, <laughs> I think it takes two to take. I mean, it do take two. I just feel like I do it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm saying every time it, that ain't about to happen. Every, if, we, if, I'm, if I'm doing every time, you doing every time. No, I'm not. Well, that's why you try to believe you're married to it. Yeah, try to believe. She do good, obviously. <laughs> But uh, what, what's the motivation or words you want to give to somebody who's starting a business but kind of afraid of, you know what I'm saying? Keep going. I'm sorry to cut you off. Oh, keep going. That's a lot of things we don't do is keep going. A lot of things we do is get frustrated. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. You writing down your ideas is starting somewhere. Write down anything. The stuff you're going to order. What you need to package. Look at all the stuff I got. This stuff ain't come just from... I had to brainstorm for years. I actually do nails, but I wanted product I could sell. Use your brain. Yeah. What about you? What's the motivation? 
Um, I don't have a, my own business per se, but surround yourself, if you do want to start a business, surround yourself with like-minded people that want to, that you already have in your circle that have a business, or, you know, X, Y, and Z, which is what I do. Um, and not just her, Shay, Gia, Pink, their whole family, you know, y'all, I love it. So I'm here for it. Now tell people where you can follow you on, on, on social media. Okay, follow me on Instagram. Three underscore M A R C H E L L E. That's on Instagram. Three underscore Marshall. Okay. See me. What about you? I am at Absolutely Dylan with three L's. Absolutely D I L L L A N. Okay, okay. On Instagram. Okay, and people, please don't ever listen to her. If your man go down, you go down. <laughs> Alright, you already know we back. You know what I'm saying? We got a special guest. Let the people know your name and uh, what you got going on. Michael Lachelle. I got the waist trainer. Styles by Michael on Instagram. Okay. I do hair, but I got the sweatbands and waist trainers, armbands, and two piece sets. Okay, okay. The armbands, what they get your arm? Yeah, arm get it together. together. Yeah, because you see a lot of girls, you know, got that together, but then they got that grandma pee. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I should have brought one over here, but for sure. got the armband. For sure, for sure. Now, um, the year about to be over with. What's something you learned about yourself this year that surprised you? Oh, that's a hard question. I've never been good at interviews. Hold good, on. good. You know, anybody who isn't me, you. Ask it to me one more time. What's something that you learned about yourself this year? That I'm a strong black woman. For sure, for sure. She's black, y'all. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Was, was there ever times that you doubted yourself like, and, and wasn't like, you know what I'm saying, strong? Well, I just had twins five months ago. Oh, shit. Congratulations. Thank you. Hell yeah, so, hell yeah. Boys, girls, boy and girl? Two boys, identical. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Shout out to the uh, twins. All right. Those are the only kids? Mm-hmm. Okay, what that do? What that, how that changed you since you've been a mom? Get this money. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. For sure, can't be broke out here, though. Right. <laughs> hell yeah. Now, uh, what made you want to start this business besides, you know, getting that money? Um, to look good. Yeah. I'm in the beauty industry, so you want to look good. Okay. A snatch waist, fat ass, you know. Yeah. That's always a plus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for sure, for sure. Now, with things, like, is it healthy? Because you know you got some people say, like, it ain't good for you, you know what I'm saying? Okay. The honest that. opinion, if it's too tight, it's not healthy. Okay. But the girls that just got BBLs and stuff, you want this. You need this. Okay. Even the regular girls, you need this. But I feel like the sweatbands are for the regular girls. Okay, okay, okay. Like, you know, the sweat it off, put them little calories off. So when you got the BBL, what, what, why, why should you do that? Because when you first get your BBL, you're supposed to compress. So this is going to compress you as tight as you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Good day. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now, what's, uh, what's something that, you know what I'm saying, that pushes you with the business when you kind of feel down, things ain't selling, things ain't moving how you want it to move? I pray. Okay. You got to pray. Like God bless her. You got to pray. Yeah. <laughs> bless his ways. Bless my ways. <laughs> right. I pray. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now, with the business, where you see this in five years? Well, actually, I see the business big, but you know I do hair, so I do classes. So I hope my class go good, and the waist trainer sold out hell yeah, hell all yeah. the time. Hell yeah! Now you say you do hair too? Mm-hmm. Okay, so how long you been doing both of these things? I've been doing hair for about seven plus years. I got my license seven years ago, okay. but I was doing it in middle school and high school. And this I started like three years ago. Yeah. Cause I want it to look good. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Now uh, you having kids now? How important is it? How important is it that you get your business thriving so they can they can grow up and see like mom do her thing? Very important because generational wealth. Oh yeah. Yes. Now this is when we get to some separate questions from the business. Okay. When last time you got a good client? And what was the reason? Um, maybe like. A day ago. Oh, shit. <laughs> what, what happened? What happened? Talk, talk to me. Uh, my baby daddy came home too late for me. I need to help with the baby. She, oh, no, 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 that's an issue. <laughs> so I got, I got kids. We all got kids. What's the latest, like, even without kids, what's the latest your, your man comes to the crib? Uh, the latest? Mama, so I ain't even gonna say it. But you know what You get past her time, you already know what's up. Cause like, my wife ain't coming home past a certain time. Yeah, cause the club closed at two. Yeah. What time legs close? Shit. <laughs> legs are never closed. Yeah, so. <laughs> legs are always Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 
don't know. Now speaking of that, what's the craziest thing you did for love? Break your leg for love. I had surgery. I couldn't walk for two fucking months for love. What the fuck happened? You about to leave you? Like what? Just mad and drunk and angry. Oh, it's bad combination. And you know how you just be like, fuck this. I just jumped out the car. <laughs> was you driving? No. Yo. The nigga was driving. Yo. I just jumped out and was mad at the moment, but that's why I said I got to thank God. Because if it was the car behind me, I probably wouldn't. Right now. She would be saying leg breaks yeah. to <laughs> God damn. Right. What's the craziest thing you searched on Pornhub? Did you say I can plead the fifth? Yeah. You played it? What's the craziest? I don't know. Not too crazy. Probably lesbian. Okay, okay. Not too crazy. Not too crazy. All right, towards the end, we do a thing called versus. I give you two people, two scenarios, and you tell me who wins. All right? Drunk sex versus sober sex. Drunk? Okay, okay, okay. What, what's so good about drunk, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you just lose. You get out your body, you like, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Daylight versus nightlight. Daylight. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Thanksgiving. No, Christmas, because Jesus was born. Okay, ass versus titties. Butt naked sex versus some clothes and all. Butt ass naked. Okay. Martin versus Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. I think I'm too young for Martin. I like Martin, but Fresh Prince. Side piece versus one night stand. Side piece. Alright, last question. You want that motherfucker for the ass ache or that pussy? Both. Mix okay. that shit up. Put yeah. it in, put it in the blender. <laughs> Alright, so where can they follow you on social media? Um, Stop by Micah and personal pages Michelle Micah. Okay, babe, you wanna you wanna leave somebody with some motivational words? Stay strong. Stay strong. Pray to God. Hey, I don't hey. want to get too wild on here. Miss that shit in blender. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out. Alright, so y'all already know we had to end it off with the with the reason why I'm here and shit, man. My dog yes, Izzy Fresh. Yes, Shay Baby and his motherfucking dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah motherfucking waves, rental hall and shit, man. Talk to me, dog. Yes, Let's just start this shit, bro. Yeah, bro. Nigga just needed another hustle, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to find a way to make money out here. Hey, now, I'm still on a rap shit, though. Don't get it. Hey, dog, this nigga, I got to feel like this nigga my drunk, y'all, dog. Come on, bro. This nigga sick. Nigga, I ain't seen this shit, dog. Right, this ain't bad. <laughs> Hey, baby, what's good with you? What's up? Yeah, she ain't up there on podcast. I know easy for this motherfucker. Yeah. What's some shit y'all like about y'all stuff this year, man? This shit about to be over with. Ooh, let's be. I've been learning more about passive income. So I've been trying to jump more into that. The passive income bag. So that's what we're doing. That's what we focus on for 2020. I've been learning shit. You can just do more shit than you think you can do. You know, I would have never thought about no rental hall, you know what I'm saying? Even a salon either. You know, I don't even stay on the rap shit. Hell yeah. Rap, rap, rap. Yeah. Or some Malibu shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> For real, bro. You got, you got some money in Malibu shit, dog. <laughs> For real shit. But yeah, though, I just learned that, bro. You can just do whatever you can. You can do whatever you put your mind to, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, Shay. Yes, it was sweet as day. You hit my man out with some shit? Yeah, we don't be celebrating no. that kind of we shit. We need to. I don't either. We've been What's together too long, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. Yesterday, we were so busy working, and I had to do everybody makeup for the Millennium Tour, stuff like that, but I'm going to make it up to Yeah, hell yeah, that's good. That's good. I, I be hating when girls be thinking they going to throw their ass on you, and that's it. Like, <laughs> We, we, we gotta think on this shit. Like, too, we bro. gotta think on Mother's Day. That's how I say we gotta think. If they come up this like, no, nah, yeah, nigga, like, bro, come on, bro. Like, that's what they ass too, You know we don't matter. <laughs> you look like it. We <laughs> like being, nigga. We the bottom of the food chain in this bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. What is hell? Now, uh, shit, man, with, with you with the makeup, you with the music and shit, man, the business and shit, like, what, what makes y'all want to start this shit, man? Like, say, fuck that nine to five grind. You can get this shit on your own. Like you don't really gotta. When I learned you ain't gotta punk in to make the money. Oh, yeah, and then we just, ever since we've been going crazy with it. And you just how you just know 
in the back of your mind is another way besides that 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 formula, that setup. You feel me? You start to feel like a robot in that shit. Hell yeah, doing the same shit, same. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. How important, like y'all 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 been together for a minute. Yep. How's it important that each one of y'all match each other hustle? Like I'm quite sure. You can be with him if he had no drive, vice versa. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, so how important is it that your mate got that motherfucking grind to him? It is, cause this the nigga with the this the nigga that pushes to the limit for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta keep up. It's your lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga, yeah, this the one. What's, besides y'all kids, what's the shit that push y'all? Man, no, I mean, I just see me, my real ambition is the music and shit. You know what I'm saying? So that, that just pushed me because I like to do it. But like, this kind of shit is just like, you gotta survive. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get your hustle on and, and try to get out here and make a way. So that's what that shit be, bro. What's that time y'all wanna say, fuck this shit y'all do? Because you passionate about the music, you passionate about the makeup. What's that yeah. time y'all saying, fuck that shit? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like Pretty every much. other day almost. Like, yeah, that's like me right now. Like, shit, it's just like, I think I'm about to just start a regular label and just put some young niggas on. You hey, nigga, I still got the drive. Because we ain't old. Yeah, I ain't old. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to still do me, but I feel like. Give me a like nice 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who's like, who like me, yeah. but younger, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because I done made mistakes and I didn't spend money in the wrong places. Yeah. I know where it go now. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I'm doing my thing with the shit. Yeah. Nigga that made it all the way to Jada Kids, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Nigga yeah. doing their thing, but yeah. I just know how I go, bro. I'm getting older, so shit. Yeah, shit make you mad when you see these niggas getting on, you like, dog, I'm way better than these niggas. It don't make me mad, it just make me be like, Keep doing what I'm doing, because if they can do it, I can do it. You feel me? Hell yeah. What y'all see yourself in five years with y'all business, with y'all self, all that good shit? Man, yeah, rich, healthy, you know what I'm saying, on vacations. Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta, hell yeah. Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, shit, just more of this, bro. You know what I'm saying? You said Atlanta? Yeah, hell yeah. Fuck you know, out, I'm supposed to move to Atlanta. Yeah, I'm surprised y'all didn't. Bro, we be down there <laughs> bro, we every still fucking be, week. We basically both. Yeah, yeah it's back and forth, bro. It's back and forth. Yeah, man, hey, man. Y'all can adopt us, man. <laughs> <laughs> so how long did it take y'all to really see like, money coming in from y'all businesses? Uh, wait, I'm independent on which one. Like, yeah. music. With the music, you would be Mine was fast. Mine was quick. No, I, my advantage was marketing. So that that helped me a lot. Yeah, yeah, her shit popped quick. It got like me. Uh, I started getting some rap money for real. Like, uh, I've been rapping since a kid, but you know what I'm saying? I really start trying to go crazy for real, for real, like 2014, 2015. So I said I really start getting booked for shows and they got to give me, you know what I'm saying, 15, 2000, 3000 if I want it. Yeah, that yeah. shit was like. Four five years into the grind, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit was quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now yeah, yeah. a nigga wanna book me shit. I ain't coming out with anyone. Yeah, that's the street. Show. Hell that's yeah. Yeah. You feel me? What's the awesome advice y'all giving a nigga who start music, start makeup, start the business? Man, stay consistent, go hard. Yeah, Don't listen to nobody, bro. Have your own mind, cause niggas will say you can't do something cause they can't do it. Hell yeah. You feel me? Have your own mind. You can get advice from people, but still have your goal and your shit focused and be locked in on it. Cause anything you do every day, you're gonna get good at it. For sure, got to. You know what I mean? You, 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 you waste time if you ain't. Yeah, hell yeah. That's, right. That's like you with the pod. Yeah, I, sure. see, I seen him again. I ain't going crazy. Yeah. Everybody no, I'm I'm fine, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm going crazy. Man. I'm trying, dog. What about you, Shay? Um, that was so sorry. What's the question? You can't always be telling somebody young like that. No. Like, what's the question? I agree with what you said. Like, you definitely got to be consistent and don't listen to what other people say because I have people tell me, like, oh, hi. Like, you think I'm the top makeup artist in Detroit now. So, like, yesterday for the Millennium Tour, they were, they were calling me. So, if I didn't, if I wouldn't listen to the people, yeah, I'll probably so you, oh, you make up the motherfuckers who was on tour? Gary yeah. Hill, St. Cloud, they want to hurt you. She just came to Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, bro. You, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the main thing too, bro. Don't be scared to invest, bro. That's the thing. If you want to be your own boss, it can't be all that designer shit, all that shit for a minute. You really gotta be disciplined yeah. with you. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff comes later. Hell yeah, ain't no going out to eat all that shit, yeah. dog. No. How, yeah, how, y'all got kids, man. How important is it that they see your job business people? Man. They ain't outgrow. Oh, my, my son, our oldest son, because the baby, he don't really know, but the oldest, he thinks this is normal. Yeah, can't say so yeah, I feel like, no, I'd be like, well, I grew up well. Just nah, I grew up. I yeah, tell them, I like to see me on with a hanger, nigga. No, for sure. I always tell them that, but that, bro, that nigga really he just think. He like, oh, you he 
the thing is, that's why I'm like, exactly. I open this shit like KJ trying to impress the little nigga. He's just like, I don't know, this is the same old shit. Yeah, yeah. It ain't nothing. But I just keep doing it because we get a certain age, you're going to realize, like, damn, my parents changed the trajectory of our generation and shit. So how, how old y'all youngest in the second one? Uh, yeah, Carson too. They they both birthday in December. Carson about to be three, KJ about to be ten. Oh, so y'all about to have another one to your girl? Man, I'm gonna wait till I get raced to have another baby. I, I got one like ten kids, but I ain't gonna care. Oh shit, hell no. <laughs> I got three, I'm done, bro. I'm done. Two boys and a girl. Nah, 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 nah. Now I'm gonna ask y'all some shit. Now, I don't know if y'all too stuck with the answer. Well, last time y'all cried, what was the reason? Uh, I don't need to be crying if I just somebody died. It's probably been a couple weeks. I don't need to be crying like that, bro. Yeah, yeah man. It's probably been a couple weeks since I cried. What, 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 what happened? Somebody... If I get real irritated, I'm going to just cry. Man. Fuck, <laughs> like I'm crying. <laughs> no. Now, I think I might ask you what's the wildest, what's the wildest shit y'all searched on porn? The wildest shit? Oh. I don't know. Like, just watch some crazy shit? Yeah. I don't know. Like, it, it's wild. Yeah. I've searched handicap porn before. Oh, oh yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Like animal porn. Oh, yeah. Oh. Just to see that shit, like, that's some wild shit. Yeah. Like, I don't that's know. Some different shit like that. I don't think, I think I just searched normal porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. All right, we get towards the end. Bur uh, versus. Drug sex versus sober sex. Drunk oh, yeah, ass niggas, man. Everybody drunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Daylight versus nightlife. Oh, Say that again. Daylight versus nightlife. Bro, it depends. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if I'm. Yeah. I like to record. I like to record at night. But it's like, I already like partying like that for real. I don't know because I'm getting older. Yeah, so it's like, I like the night, but I be calling it in early these days. You feel me? Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Thanksgiving. Christmas. Yo, mama cooking or your lady cooking? Ooh, that's hard Nigga, me, for me. Me. Oh, yeah. me. <laughs> I'm cooking that shit. <laughs> Butt naked sex or some clothes? Who wants clothes? I don't know. It is me. That's kind of funny, bro. If you're dressing up. <laughs> could be a little explicit, man. It, it might for shame. Want that motherfucker ass A or that pussy A? Oh! Nah, oh. Easy for us to get some easy, uh, easy ass. Uh, no, 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 Hello? Oh, man, get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna tell y'all a story real quick. Nah, this I is ate, crazy. I ate my white butt for the first time because of, of COVID, dog. Crazy, ah! You was at home too long. I want to try something new, like, fuck, dog. this nigga is good. That's the word she was like. That was, she was like, that was different. Like, fuck it. Crazy. You fuck it, man. This nigga had niggas crazy. Hell yeah. <laughs> niggas thought it was the end of the world. No, I'm like, fuck it. I'm about to eat some ass, nigga. Fuck it. Dog, these crazy. Hey, dog. I appreciate y'all, man. For real, man. Thank you for having us. Oh, this nigga's sick. Where, where can you find y'all on social media? Bro, uh, Easy Fresh Music, Waves Rental Hall, everybody tap in with Waves, that's what we locked in on. Uh, with y'all parties, whatever y'all want to do, everything, man. Live podcast, punches, everything, man. It's Waves Rental Hall 313. Okay, okay. When you dropping the tape, man, again? Bro, I'm working on my album right now, bro. It's, it's, I might drop EP before the end of the year, but I'm going to really drop an album to where I'm gonna get like a lot of features and shit. I'm gonna really go back to that bag because I ain't been dropping with niggas, but no. I'm gonna get back in that next year. 2023 for sure, I'm gonna have some, some hard shit for sure. All right, y'all wanna leave here with some motivational words, man? Man, shit, go hard, don't listen to nobody. You right, I don't care what nobody talking about. You right, they wrong, bro, fuck that shit, go crazy. Not you right, they wrong. Yeah, man, appreciate y'all again, dog. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Thank you, thank you. Hey, this is the last one. You know how to make it funny a little long and shit, man. Whenever this is getting on, I'm not pressing jokes. Shout out to everybody, man, we out this bitch. Yes, sir.